All right, here we are. Fight is just right around the corner. Mayweather versus Pacquiao. Um, without question, this is the fight we've been waiting for for years. You know, this fight's five years in the making. Should have happened back in 2010 when both these guys were in their primes. But it's happening real soon. So the only thing, the only thing I could do as a fan is just go ahead and accept what's going to happen real soon. You know, I can't go back to the past and change it. You know, I have to just look forward to the future. And um, I'm actually more relieved than I can say, you know, than I can say I'm excited for the fight. I'm excited for the fight, don't get me wrong, but I'm at the state where I'm just more relieved than anything. You know, finally this fight, we get this fight out the way. Uh, you know, we can move on and, you know, just enjoy boxing after, you know, after these two give us their fight. Um, these two fighters right here, Mayweather and Pacquiao, without question, are, are arguably the best fighters of this generation. And they're finally, you know, going to get in the ring. And we're finally going to see who the best is. And to tell you the truth, I'm going to be honest. I'm not rooting for any fighter. The only thing I'm really rooting for is a knockout. And I hope either a knockout or a dominant performance by either fighter. You know, I'm talking about in the category of a, uh, you know, Mayweather versus Marquez or a Pacquiao versus a De La Hoya type performance. Something to where we have no controversy without question. There's no doubt. So at the end of the day, when that bell is rung and the right winner has their hand raised, you know, there's, there's no controversy. You know what I'm saying? We could, you know, put, put all this behind us. All these debates, all these disputes, all these little settlements, we could put them in the past and just move on. And that's the thing I'm really looking forward to out of the most out of this fight. So, here we are, man. This is it. So, I'm going to briefly break it down. We all know what, well, we all know what Manny Pacquiao is about at this point. You know, southpaw, awkward angles, got good speed, good power. Hasn't got a knockout since 2009 or, or, you know, hasn't stopped anybody since 2009. But that straight left is still lethal. It's still dangerous. Um, Manny Pacquiao just, you know, he, he doesn't really have a good defense. You know what I'm saying? His offense is his defense. You know what I'm saying? He, um, he doesn't move his head that well and this is the thing that you have to have in order you have to have you have to have these these you know attributes to beat Floyd Mayweather and it's actually proven because you could actually go back and watch these past fights and you'll actually see that you have to have these attributes number 1 you have to have a jab the most important thing for against Mayweather and it can't be just any jab it has to be a meaningful jab it has to be strong, it has to be crisp, it has to be accurate. The jab is what is going to offset Floyd Mayweather's rhythm, which is totally key. It's huge. Mayweather's, Mayweather gets into his rhythm. It's, it's pretty much just downhill because he dictates the pace of the fight and he's very comfortable at doing it. So, Manny Pacquiao, the jab, it's, it's, the jab is not the best. His jab is more of what you call like a range finder. But you have to have a jab for Floyd Mayweather. It's, it's, it's proven. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Miguel Cotto was effective with his jab. The problem with Miguel Cotto is that he gassed out and then, you know, Mayweather capitalized. And I'll, and I'll get to, um, another, uh, some other attributes that, uh, you have to have for Floyd Mayweather. But you have to have athleticism and you have to have stamina. Those three things. And you also, and you also, you could also put the athletic style with the athleticism. So you have to have those things because as I said with Miguel Cotto, when he fought Miguel Cotto, he had a good jab pumping for a while. The problem with Miguel Cotto is that he gassed out. And Floyd Mayweather was able to, you know, capitalize on, you know, Cotto's fatigue and May Mayweather just wore him down, you know, pretty much throughout more than half of the fight. 
Um, Zab Judah had a very good jab against him. De La Hoya had a good good jab against him. Even a Corley, I remember a chop chop Corley at some, at uh, some given time in the fight gave him a little bit of issues here and there with the jab. But um, Oscar De La Hoya went away from his went away from his jab after a while. Uh, May, Mayweather took it away from him, and then you know Oscar De La Hoya started fighting out of frustration. Um, Shane Mosley was able to land that big right hand coming off of a jab. You know, that's living proof right there. You know what I'm saying? Um, Marcos Maidana used his jab to, to go, to go inside, try to make it an inside fighting game with Floyd Mayweather. But, um, Floyd Mayweather is obviously way too good on fighting on the inside. I mean, there's, there's, I mean, there's, I mean, it's just proven. If you just go back and, and you know, look at this fight and break it down stylistically, <clears throat> I think that Manny Pacquiao. This is the way how I see this fight playing out. I feel like in the first, I want to say the first half of the fight, I believe that Manny Pacquiao will have some strong moments. I believe that he will come in, start throwing combinations. I can see, you know, that. I can see his combinations giving some Mayweather some problems in the early half of the fight. And I see Mayweather slowly starting to adjust, starting from round 6 all the way to round 12. Um, I'm just going to get this out the way. I think this fight is going to go the distance. I don't think nobody's going to get knocked out. I don't think nobody's going to get knocked down. I see this fight going the distance. And... I think Floyd is going to win by points. I think he's going to win by anywhere within the 117-111 range to anywhere within 116-112. But then again, you know, we got to talk about Pacquiao too. Pacquiao's best chance to, to become victorious in this fight since his jab is not the best, he has to commit to throwing at least a, anywhere to 80 to 100 punches per round. It's not easy. It's not impossible. He could do it. But he has to do it effectively. He has to throw some serious volume in this fight. Because even if even if Manny Pacquiao's backing him up in a corner, and if he's throwing punches like crazy, even if it's not landing... Even to him on the shoulder and Mayweather keeps dodging out the way. The crowd is going to go crazy. I'm telling you right now, that will have an, you know, an impact on the judges. The judges, the judges will, will, will sometime, I'm saying not all the time, but will give, they will give some of the rounds to, uh, Manny Pacquiao. <clears throat> and so I can't stress, I can't stress hard enough how important it is for Manny Pacquiao. To be guns, you know, from the opening bell, just to let it all out, you know, guns blazing. Because if you really think about it, M Manny Pacquiao has really, he has everything to gain in this fight. You know what I'm saying? Even if he does lose, he's still going to get the biggest payday of his career. He's still going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. He's got nothing to lose in this fight, and Mayweather has... He has everything to gain, and May Mayweather has everything to lose. You know what I'm saying? So, if Manny Pacquiao could commit to throwing to at least anywhere to at least 80 to 100 punches per round, you know, at least he could try to make the you know the scorecards close, and that will, you know, you know, culminate to lead into a rematch, which will like you know double the paydays in the next fight, and the rematch will be twice as huge. So, you know, that's my, that's just my, that's just my little two, you know, my little take on this fight. Um, I, you know, I talked about this fight so many times in the past previous videos. Um, I, I believe that Mayweather is the more skilled fighter. I mean, he obviously has a size advantage, reach advantage. Um, I, I predicted, uh, Mayweather to, to win in, uh, in the previous videos. I also picked him to win back in 2010. But I think in 2010 it would it would have been a much more competitive fight. <clears throat> um, if I'm wrong, 
I will come out. I'll make a video. I'll eat my crow. You know, I don't have no problem admit when I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? It's happened before. I'll do it again. I got no problem doing that. Trust, trust me. I will do a post fight video. And that's all I'm going to say. I'm just going to say, you know, may the best man win. I hope it's a good fight. I hope it's an entertaining fight. I don't think that, uh, Kenny Bayless is going to have any kind of sort of, you know, huge effect or, you know, he's going to, you know, protect the Mayweather. I don't, you know, and all that dumb shit. I don't believe that shit all at all one bit. Um, I think Kenny B Bayless is one of the best referees right now. I think he's going to do a good job. So, um, with all that being said, May 2nd, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm really glad this fight is happening. Um, the two best fighters this generation, you know, it's happening in our era. You know, this is something that we could talk about, you know, tons of years down the road. You know what I'm saying? So, who, who knows if there will ever be a fight in boxing that will be a, you know, as big as this or even pass it, you know, as far as, you know, uh, money wise. So, I'm just really glad this is happening in our era. This is something that we could be proud of as fans. So, I'm just really looking forward to it. Um, I'm not rooting for, I'm not rooting for no fighter. None of these fighters are even my favorite fighters in boxing right now. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't, I'm, what I'm, like I said, what I'm really truly rooting for is a do, either a dominant performance or a clean cut knockout by either fighter. That way there's no dispute, no discussion. You know, we could put this behind us and just enjoy boxing what it has to offer after this. So all I'm going to say is may the best man win May 2nd.